hello you all welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber what's good if you are new hey boo i am back with another video okay so i am back at it again with my thoughts y'all and something just said make a third part to toxic mothers okay because something just hit me like something i just seen that i had to come make a video right away and so I had said in the second part, I mean, the first part of my toxic mother video that the number one sign you're going to know that you have a toxic mother is when it seems as though she is jealous of you. She's trying to compete with you and things like that. And so this situation is kind of sad, what I'm about to talk about. But um, it has already been made aware to me that I have a few subscribers on my channel that have toxic mothers. So um, I'm going to talk about this topic as much as I can, you know, until I feel like I have covered everything. But I just seen something so nasty. Um with some celebrities uh y'all know i'm not really gonna come speak on celebrities i'm not gonna put their name in my mouth but i just seen something that was so terrible um you're probably gonna know who i'm talking about without me even mentioning them but this certain celebrity decided that they wanted to convert their life over to the lord you know become connected with the lord they're trying to make a change with their life you know trying to be better they don't want to live toxic no more you know because a lot of times like i said and i shouldn't have put I know y'all looking at that toxic mother video like what she got a she got a picture of um Monique up there you know precious mother um she was she was a perfect example of toxic mother but I gotta speak on this because this stuff is disgusting like I had said in um the the last video we kind of reiterated what I said you want to get your distance from your toxic mother because her ways are gonna start to rub off on you and I kind of say when I seen this um certain person you know in the spotlight I seen where she had a very volatile relationship with her mother and I could see where her mother's toxicity kind of started to rub off on her you know how you be around a certain person and you can tell that they are not a certain way but you could tell that their life has been affected by the type of people they are around it's kind of like the bad apple out of the you know the good apple out of a bad bunch of apples and the apple is like halfway white and halfway rotten you know so this is kind of like what i want to speak on with this topic it's funny that i made that video like not too long ago because this situation just came out where this um woman wanted to make a change for her life and get away from uh, her toxic ways you know? like i said in the last video the number one way you're going to know that you have a toxic mother when she is not on board with your growth you know she is against you she's trying to send a village up against you you know what i'm saying she's trying to break you as much as she can and I, I see it with this young woman and her mother you know and it's disgusting and it's sad because it when you are trying to make a change with your life and you want to do better with your life you would expect your mother to be on board with that you know um to support you 100 percent. i don't see this um young woman's mother alongside of her just encouraging her cheering her on like she going on um I seen the stuff on my um YouTube algorithm and I didn't even click on it and watch it, you know, but <sighs> the stuff is just crazy. Like that's a whole different type of evilness when you got your mother going on talk shows um, to speak about you and, and negatively, like just basically running your name through the mud. Like this is your mother. Like this ain't no enemy. This ain't no girl that you had beef with. This ain't no, um, man that you know no uh no toxic ex-boyfriend or nothing like that this is your mother that is doing this to you completely disgusting you know what i'm saying and the reason why i feel like the world is it, it seems as though the world is kind of rooting for this young woman because they see they see what i see you know they see the type of relationship she has had with her mother and they praying for her strength you know when you are a good person and you have good character like it's gonna it's gonna come out eventually you know that whole bad name that they tried to throw on you throughout the years you have came out you know you have came out with your story um you want to renew your life and become closer with the lord and it's always going to be the devil that's just going to be there trying to attack you and it's it's so sad that they have so many situations out here to kind of highlight the lord and the devil you know um when you are trying to make a change with your life and you got them type of people that seems as though they are not happy for you. You know, that's another one that you know that you have a toxic person in your life that you need to get rid of, basically. Um, I don't know. I don't really be caught up with celebrity labs and stuff like that. But from what I've seen in the media, it seems as though they have a very volatile kind of relationship. And she had a, t she had a television show um, years ago. What was this years ago? And I, I could not even watch it. it. It was too much yelling and screaming and stuff. Like I seen a little bit of the tra I seen the trailer of her television show and the stuff was just, oh my God, toxicity on a whole nother level. Like for real, like 
That's so sad that you got to go through that type of stuff with your own mother, the person that birthed you, that brought you in this world. It's almost as if this young woman had been cursed since birth, you know? Um, witchcraft on a whole different type of level. Like, this young woman's mother is, oh my God, just sad, just completely sad to see people have to go through that type of stuff, like, and I think I'm going to make a video um, face to face with y'all where it's going to be called um, Clear Your Name. And I had been wanting to make a video about this. But basically, when you are trying to make a change in your life, you are going to have those people that is going to try to tear you down every chance they could get. You don't really keep up with celebrity lives, but I, I do look at them as if they are normal people just like us. You know, um, this, this young woman is normal, just like any other woman you know she just has a very um volatile toxic relationship with her mother and it's so crazy how just put on display for the whole world to see like that's embarrassing to have um somebody is supposed to love and care for you like I, I just really hurt for this woman for real I pray for her growth I really hope that she gets the growth and um help that she needs in the uh guidance from the Lord like I said in my last video um when you have toxic parents the only person you could really count on is God. You know, God is your mother. God is your father. Um, God steps in your life and um, picks up the lack that you have received from your parents. And so open, be open to that and embrace that. Like, we don't always have to be connected to our family and um, our parents in order to get that love, especially when they are not displaying it, um, especially when they are not reciprocating the same type of energy that you are giving to them, you know? Um the stuff is the stuff almost made me want to cry because I'm like, dang, you know, I can't believe this her mother like just treating her like this, you know, and it, it, it's so sad because I'm just talking a little bit about what I had seen. This woman has a very evil spirit on her. So I don't like watching people like that because what you watch is very important. Like when you watch something that is extremely toxic, you kind of just picking up all that energy from that person, you know, so I didn't really, um play the video i just you know went to, to went to the comment section because i'm sitting up here thinking when you know when i sent the thumbnail in the video she just looked so toxic like it looked like somebody that was coming to bash you know their child um it didn't seem like a woman that was coming to show her encouragement for her daughter um wanted to make a change with her life and it was just so sad and disgusting and then i'm reading the comments like I, i'm gonna i'm gonna talk Y'all stay tuned for my uh, upcoming videos about the jealousy I have seen um, on social media online. Like, I'm going to kind of point out, and I'm going to probably put comments, use examples of times I have seen jealousy towards other people. Celebrities specifically. I ain't going to really name no names. The only time I would name names of celebrities is when I'm using it for um, a good purpose. Like, talking about them in the best light was, is the only time I would use their name. I would never come to speak bad about a celebrity because I feel like that's wrong, you know. Um, that ain't no different than gossiping about somebody, period. Like, this celebrity is literally a person, you know. Take away their money and their fame and they are human and they are just like you. They, take away their money and their fame and they are normal just like you. So, you got to treat everybody as such. Treat, treat people how you would want to be treated. And that's what I think about when, when it comes to celebrities and their lives and stuff like that. But this young woman had me kind of sad and hurting for her because that type of stuff is crazy. Like, the woman is beautiful, you know? I could see her mother um, being jealous of her. But the sick, twisted part about all of this is that the jealousy is not coming from a woman off the street. It's coming from your own mother. Like, I could tell that her mother's jealous of her looks. Um, I could tell that her mother is just jealous of the type of person she is. Like, she, she just... She had me questioning if she was like, man, like, so crazy. That woman is so toxic. But I'm going to just kind of jump back to the comments. I've seen some very disgusting comments from people. It seemed like they were kind of just on board with her mother and kind of agreeing with what her mother, whatever her mother was saying. I can't tell y'all what the mother was saying because I didn't watch the video. But it seemed like they were in agreement with her mother. And then another disturbing sick thing I've been seeing a lot with these whole people having so much input on this young woman her mother like people just be oh my god everybody keep on saying and don't come don't if you come in my comments with any type of negativity you are going to get blocked okay i don't want your opinion on nothing regardless because what this woman is doing is disgusting do not come and leave a negative comment on my page if you do you will get blocked your comment will not get no shine up on my channel everybody keep on talking about she real, she this, she that. I can't really say what type of person this woman is because I don't follow their life like that. But just from what I've seen the past couple of times, it seemed like a person that is jealous, you know? She ain't no different than a hater that's out on the street, you know? Only difference is this is her daughter. 
and y'all keep on talking about some she real she this and that she keeping it real like ain't nothing y'all y'all be oh my god it be it's so many slow people out here like how getting on the land bashing your daughter and being jealous of your daughter trying to use your daughter for um clout to try to get attention like you literally could tell she jealous like she literally always every time this woman get on land her mother always seemed to come, pop up somewhere like it's almost as if she don't want her to have no type of attention. She wanna steal all the attention. Just like now with this with this woman coming out with her um life change. Here come her mother. Like I keep I keep hearing this stuff. You know, I'm not really following it too much, but I keep hearing this stuff through Great Fan. I'm seeing it on my Facebook and I'm seeing it through my algorithm on YouTube. You know, this ain't nothing I'm searching up. But I just keep on seeing how everybody keep on talking about how she keep bashing her daughter. And then this fool's in the comment talking about some, oh, she just being real. This her daughter. Um, how she jealous of her daughter and all that. That ain't jealousy. That's just keeping it real. Like, she don't have to get on land. If she, why, why is she, why is she in the spotlight? Why? She ain't the celebrity her daughter is. Why is she always trying to be in the spotlight every time this woman is doing something? Why it always seems as though she trying to steal the attention away from, from, um, her daughter? And y'all keep saying she trying to keep it real. That ain't keeping it real. That's jealousy. Y'all talking about some she very um I don't know some some stuff about I just see I, I just see some some interview that she did I didn't even click on it because I don't give them type of people when people be trying so much trying to get attention like trying to steal the spotlight from people I don't even get uh, them type of people attention because they know very well what they are doing they're very intentional in the things that they do. This woman is clearly jealous of her child. Y'all sitting up here talking about y'all. Uh, she just keeping it real. She this, she that. But she getting online exposing her child and talking about her child in a very grating way. A mother would never do nothing like that's her own child. Like, wait, what are, what are y'all seeing? What is it that y'all see? Because I see something totally different. I ain't never, ever. I have seen toxic mothers before, but I have never seen it to this extent like this. Ever. This stuff is disgusting. I can't believe it's people egging this woman on and giving her airtime, giving her attention. Like she shouldn't even be on nobody talk show doing no type of interviews. Like she shouldn't even have that type of power and attention. Like people literally will use you. She don't know that she's just being used, you know? Used by the devil to pit herself against her own child. You know? These people only want her to come and do an interview or write a radio show because her daughter, because her daughter name. The only reason why you got any type of clout is because of your daughter. And then I seen some stuff where they said her daughter was taking care of her and giving her all type of money and stuff. That's how you repay your child by belittling her and talking about her and being jealous of her. Craziness. And then people just always rat somebody way. Every time somebody come out on the scene, they get to talking. Just because a person know how to talk, they know how to talk a good game. They know how to entertain you and make you laugh. That don't mean that they are a good person. Anybody know how to have a conversation. Anybody can get on the radio show and conduct an interview. Especially when it got something to do with you getting some type of views and attention. Like y'all people need to wake up and start seeing the devil for who he really is. He works through so many different people. And I don't understand how people don't see it with this woman and her mother. And it's just so crazy and sick and twisted how the world think. Like the types of people that we have out here in the world. Like it's literally people out here that would be so jealous of a person in their growth that they would be on the side of the person that, that um has brought them destruction. You know what I'm saying? It's just like devils and demons with with faces, you know? And it's so crazy. Like y'all literally seen how toxic this woman was to her daughter. And for you to be on board with that and sad with her, that's like completely disgusting, you know? You don't excuse um nasty behavior. You don't excuse jealousy and say that, oh, that's her mother, um, this and that, this and that. You and then that's the part, that's that's the nasty thing about jealousy, is that a person can literally be so jealous of you and not like you to the point where they'll know that the person that wrongs you, the person is coming, to, the person is basically trying to destroy you. They know that this person is in the wrong, but they hate you and they are so jealous of you to the fact that they will literally sad with this person to try to defeat you as well. It's almost as if, like I said before, um, they want to send a village up against you. You know what I'm saying? They want to get everybody on their side to take you down because demons, not only, they will not only work as one, they will work as a team a lot of times because they know they can't defeat the Lord all by themselves. You know, they got to have a team. And so that's how I see this whole situation with this young woman's mother is that she's trying to do everything she can to try to defeat this woman. This woman is literally trying to make a change with her life. You can see it. You know, like I said, you could read people's energy through the camera. I just would see her um, 
see certain things that people would say about her and I never made a judgment of her and I would see her on TV and stuff like that. I never really thought much of her. I just seen her as the regular person, you know, but when I seen that um, whole trailer with her and her mother, I seen her completely different, you know, um, just completely toxic. Like you got to get away from people like that. It, it don't matter if it's your mother or not. You, you literally got to get away from people like that. And the people that's on my channel, they have toxic relationships with their mother. I hope that you are, because I know you probably know about the situation with this um young woman and her mother. Use that situation as a, um, a lesson. Take some advice from that video. Like you see the certain things playing out before your ass and you just thinking like, well, dang, you know, that's the type of relationship I got with my mother. If that's the type of relationship you got with your mother, the one with this young woman, then you, you may need to separate tasks with your mother, you know? There's no way that you should be putting up with that type of abuse at all. It's not fair and it's not right. And that ain't, that ain't nothing but a clear example of the devil using people to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? The closest to you, your mother, like, come on now. That's the most disgusting, foul, evil thing in this world for your own mother to be against you. You know, when she's supposed to be there for you, she's supposed to be nurturing you. Man, I pray this woman get growth and this woman... The devil literally be working. Like, he be working hard. He be working overtime to try to destroy God. Because God be working through so many different people, you know? This lady literally said that she wanted to change her life. She wanted to give her life over to Christ and to the Lord. And it seemed like the devil started attacking her right away. Like, oh my God. I would go more deep into death, but like I said, I don't want to um, give it away too much. But... I don't know this young woman personal life outside of the cameras and nothing like that, but just this toxicity, evilness, demonic energy, witchcraft, that ain't nothing that you could have, especially when it's like on camera for, for the whole world to see. And that's nothing that could be hidden. That's not an act. That's not scripted. Like, that's real, you know? And she came and showed us what she had been going through for so many years with her mother. She let us get, she didn't have to do that. She didn't have to show us, she put her life on front like that. But this woman could have been suffering, you know what I'm saying? Her putting that stuff out for the, for the whole world to see. That, that was her can showing us what she had been going through her entire life with this woman. You know, this evil spirit, because that's how I see her mother. Her mother ain't nothing but an evil demonic spirit. She been fighting up against the evil demonic spirit since she was a child, you know? And... That's, that's the situation with toxic mothers. Like, they, they are not on board with your growth. Um, they are jealous of you, you know? It's hard to believe that a mother could be jealous of their child, but it is very real. Like, your mother is supposed to be instilling um, confidence in you. She's supposed to be building you up. You know, she's supposed to, you're supposed to be looking up to her for strength. And um, looking at her as a hero. Looking at her for comfort. Looking to her for advice, you know? When you ain't got nobody to go to to get advice from, they're supposed to be guiding you through, through this life. They, they they literally going at you like, oh my God, demonic energy right there. The one person that's supposed to be loving you is um against you. Devil has a huge influence over social media. Like this woman, like you could tell that, and I'm not going to even call her a woman because what she doing to her daughter is very disgusting, you know? Um... People will use their children for financial gain, for fame, you know, all that type of stuff. Even if it means that they got to tear this person down. If I got to tear you down to get to the top, then that's what I'm going to do by any means necessary. If I'm going to get a bag at the end of the day, you know, and that's just really sad. You know, you could tell that the relationship had already been toxic before this person even became famous, you know, and the media just highlighted that when she brought it to light. It's kind of like the whole, I've been um against you since you even had this fame. So what difference do it make for me to even change when, when we get in the spotlight? Like, you ain't no daughter, man. You ain't no this. Oh, my God. It's just, the energy is so disgusting. You ain't no daughter, man. Um, let me just say what I can and do whatever I can to try to get some attention. Um, let me try to steal the spotlight from my daughter. You know, she's trying to make a change with her life. But let me just try to tell her down because I'm letting the devil use me right now. I ain't in my right man. You know, I have a demonic entity um, controlling me. You know, it's taking over and it's destroying me and my daughter's relationship to the point where I'm just unstoppable. You know, I'm stopping at anything to try to destroy her. Nasty. Evil. Y'all know I come to expose the devil on my channel every single time, you know? This ain't going to be the first and this ain't going to be the last time I talk about exposing the devil on here.
I have so many different topics to touch on as far as this jealousy thing, as far as demonic energy, witches, all that type of stuff. I'm going to be exposing everything on my channel. If I feel like this is something important that I need to put out here to the world to, to um, kind of highlight and kind of help the people that need to get it, then I'm going to put it out here. Because I already know the Lord's protecting me at the end of the day, okay? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No gossiping tongue, no ill will words. No, none of that is welcomed on my channel, okay? You get stopped at the door, for real. Do not bring that negativity on my channel because I am exposing the devil on here, okay? You ain't got no place up on my channel. If your energy and your spirit ain't right, for real, you can be dismissed, okay so yes i don't know if i should probably keep making segments about toxic mothers but that was just something that i just came across that i feel like i need to come speak about right away so hopefully y'all enjoyed this video hopefully i was able to get something from this video um any help you decide on what it is you should do as far as your toxic relationship with your mother and god bless you and i hope you get the healing and the guidance that you need to um succeed you know to prevail in life you know you are great you are beautiful so if don't nobody else love you just know that the lord loves you and i will talk to y'all in the next video